Hi guys, welcome back to Dingle Blogger. Today we're going to Disneyland! And we are going to show you all the essentials that we pack in our bags for the park. Yep, so let's get started. Alright, so since we're going to be talking about what's in our bag, of course we're going to show you what bags we bring. I am a backpack person, so I always take a backpack because I take more stuff than I should. So this is a new backpack that I'm going to be using for the very first time. It's one of those, the new Kat Kitson line, London Mickey. It's um, super cute, I'm super jealous. Yeah, so I think since it might rain, it's a little more water resistant, so yeah, backpack. And then I have this little bag. As you can tell, it's been well loved. I've had this for years, and I use it almost every time I go to Disneyland. I got it at Disneyland a few years ago. I don't even know how long ago, but no. it's just been well loved. Like you can tell there's like little scrapes on it, but I like it because I like to have something over my shoulder and then I can just kind of push it out of my way. And I think it's um, easier that it's smaller. And I also like this bag because it's also water resistant for Splash Mountain or <laughs> rainy days. Yeah. All right, so the most important thing you must remember to pack annual pass. Annual pass, ticket, whatever you use, make sure to pack it. You'll be really disappointed if you get to the park and you don't have it and you can't get in. So Yeah, or you have to buy a whole new one. Don't forget. Yeah, don't forget. And then also in my wallet, I obviously have to bring my Disney debit card. Obviously you're going to want to buy snacks, souvenirs or something, so you need your money. Disney costs money. <laughs> yeah. All magic comes with a price. And then, of course, your ID, because if you want your Disney Pass discount when you're buying something, you have to show your ID, mm -hmm. too, so that's important. Yep. And I always carry, just for fun, my D23 card, just to kind of feel cool. You don't really need it, but sometimes it's just it's nice to have. You never know. And I also make sure I bring shiny pennies to smash. I love smashing pennies, and I sometimes see new ones that I've never seen before, so I like to have one on hand just in case. Yeah, and it's also good to have pennies to go make a wish at Snow White's Wishing Well with. Wishing Well, smasher. <laughs> and then to make it even easier on your Disneyland trip, I like to use a little wallet instead of my regular big chunky wallet. This makes it less weight in your bag and it's easy to pull out, easy to grab, you're not digging around, and it just conveniently keeps all your cards in there and your pennies in a little pocket. So yep. Just everything you need. Yeah. Smaller. Easy to grab. So next in our bags is our technology. We, since we're bloggers, we carry around our portable camera. This is our kind of more park camera because it's a little less bulky. I still take my big camera, which, you know, we're recording on right now for pictures <laughs> and stuff, but this is our go-to park blogging camera. And to keep our phones nice and charged, portable chargers. So what I love about this charger is it's actually a purse charger, so it's really sleek and it just fits nice and flat inside your bag and you can just charge it as you're walking around the park. And I love yours because it's <laughs> Captain America. Mine's a little more <laughs> flashy, but, and it's, you know, you just keep it in your back, my backpack anyways and just have your string hanging out when you're trying to use your phone, but I like mine because it's cool. <laughs> and then of course you can't forget your phone. Snapchat. Oh Instagram, yeah. Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. All of the essentials. Yeah. You never know when you need to snap that picture. Or send a text message when someone's one place and someone else is the other place. Yeah, getting those fast passes. Meet me at Cove Bar. I got a fast pass. See you in five. <laughs> and then, last but not least, headphones. You never know if you're waiting in line and you want to watch a Disney video. Rock out to Disney music. Watch out some music. Yeah. Bring your headphones. All right, so this is the kind of beauty section of our bags. And, you know, girls, we're going to have our chapsticks. Mine always, always has sunscreen in it because I'm a big sunscreen person. Oh, that's really smart. Yeah, sunscreen. I'm chapstick. just really picky about my chapstick, so CarMax is one of my favorites. So I always bring that along. Mm -hmm. Advil. Advil. Too much drinking at Cove Bar. <laughs> Too much roller coasters, you never know. Yeah. Advil comes in handy, not just for you, but everyone you're traveling with. <laughs> yeah, and you never know, sometimes you're walking around the park and you're so distracted that you're not keeping hydrated, so it's easy to get a headache. Mm -hmm. So, Advil, gotta have it. Mm -hmm. Then, hand sanitizer. Lots of people touch everything. 
So don't want to get sick. Yeah. It's flu season right now. Exactly. So stay healthy, my friends. You know, sanitize your hands before you eat. Sanitize your hands before you touch your face. Whatever. Sunglasses. It can get really sunny at Disneyland, obviously, because mm -hmm. it's outside. Mm -hmm. So it's just good to have these in your bag. You don't always need them, especially if it is a rainy day. But if you're just going to cruise around the park on a sunny day, they're nice to have. Yeah. Kleenex. You never know. I always have Kleenex. Use them as napkins, use them as tissues, whatever. Kleenex. Little portable hairbrush. Sometimes on the wildest ride in the wilderness. You need a hairbrush because your hair just gets wild, so. I always forget mine and I use hers. And this one's really convenient because it just pops out. They used to have a compact thing on top, but she that's been missing <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> and then, I don't know about you guys, but I am a natural deodorant user. And with natural deodorant, you need to reapply a lot because it does not last all day. <laughs> so I like to keep my deodorant in my bag so that my friends don't have to suffer the smell that is me. <laughs> Cause it just, you need to reapply once in a while and you know when you're running around the park, hot days, you get a little sweaty, so you gotta reapply. And then, okay, this is a weird one, but I always bring nail clippers in my purse. And that is because sometimes if I don't have a manicure, my nails get really long and this sounds really weird but like they get so long and then I'm running around the park and I'll nick a nail on something and then it's broken and nothing is worse than walking around the park <laughs> with like a half pointy nail that's like poking you and it just feels uncomfortable. Catches on everything. It does and so I just like to keep nail clippers in my bag just in case and that way if something does happen to my nails I can fix it easily and go on my day without having to worry about it. Or you can use it to cut off the tag for your new sweatshirt that you just bought. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> That's what I usually use it for. And then of course I like to keep um, an extra lipstick of whatever mm -hmm. color I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. That way you can reapply if it wears off with all the food yep. you're eating or drinking. Still looking good for those pictures. And now, all things mousselineous buttons. So we, um, we love to show off what we do because we are so passionate about it and we hope other people like you guys are really excited about it too. So if you ever see us, we always have extra buttons. And if you want one, just ask us for it. We'll gladly give you one. Yeah, and even if we don't have an extra, we'll give you the one off of our backpack. <laughs> Cause we got plenty. So yeah, extra buttons. Dinkle blogger. Da -na -na. Next is water. It's always good to have just an extra water bottle in your bag. Um, Staying hydrated is important, that way you don't need your Advil. But that way you could also refill it too at the parks if yeah. you wanted to. They have water stations that you can actually just put your bottle, like if you wanted to take a reusable bottle, you can fill that up at the parks because they have the stations that you can do that at. Um, they still let you bring your own food and drink in, so while you can, and you don't want to spend $5 on a water, bring one. And then I always like to bring a pen. I feel like you just never know when you need a pen and then you never know when you'll meet one of your favorite characters and you want an autograph or something or maybe people want your autograph. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, sometimes if you're at a restaurant and they only give you one pen to sign the receipt, it's easy just to pull out your own and then you're not fighting over a pen. So you just never know when you need a good pen. And so I, this trip, will be bringing my annual pass holders popcorn bucket because I got it last time and it's only a dollar to refill so when you get this kind of stuff it's important to remember it every time you go otherwise why'd you get it yeah <laughs> so I'm going to be getting my dollar popcorn all right guys so that's everything that we put in our bags we hope that seeing what we packed helped give you some ideas what you should pack for your next big trip our little weekend giveaway and don't forget to check back every Thursday for new content at www.dingoblogger.com. And make sure you follow us on all our social media and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And in the comments below, let us know some stuff that you guys bring to the parks or if anything you thought we said today was helpful and, um, you know, maybe we'll add it to our bags. All right, well, let's go to Disneyland.
can't go a video without a burp. <laughs>